Today I've got some awesome tips for you guys when working in Adobe InDesign and designing a photography booklet perfect for print. What is up people? Welcome back to Satori Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. So today an InDesign tutorial because I know a lot of you guys wanted to see this on my channel. Again, if you have suggestions for videos in the future, don't be shy to pop a comment in the comment section below. So today is a tutorial on InDesign tips when designing a photography booklet for print. On Thursday, I have some more nifty tips in Adobe Illustrator that you probably don't know about. And also I've got content on Friday lined up as well. But anyway, let's get into these tips when working in Adobe InDesign. For our photography booklet layout in InDesign, we need to make the correct document first and foremost. So choose print, and then for my photography document, I'm going to use a square layout. So I'm going to make my document around 216mm by 216mm. The amount of pages that you're going to add isn't too important right now, because I'm going to show you how to delete and add pages later. The default margins are fine, and we want to add a 3mm bleed to our document. We can press the link icon to add the bleed around the entire booklet document. So here is our document for today's InDesign tutorial. I'm going to show you some neat tips on how to add page numbers across the entire document, as well as some other tips later in today's tutorial. We're going to add all text and logo content in InDesign, but seeing as this is a photography booklet, we need to set up the imagery professionally in Photoshop. So in Photoshop, make a document that is a square and the same size or larger than your InDesign document. So I'm going to use 216 by 216 millimeters. You're going to want to make sure your imagery is 300 ppi and CMYK. Now this is essential and it's important you get it right. We're going to need to import the photography into InDesign after saving it in Photoshop. So simply apply your image onto the square canvas and then save the image as a JPEG. You want to use the highest quality possible and then go ahead and save it into your photography booklet folder. A quick tip about working in design, sometimes by default a new document is going to have the display quality on the screen set to standard, when in fact you actually want to be using high quality as the setting used. If you cannot see your tools open, you can bring them out onto the screen here. Take the rectangle frame tool and create a box across your entire document like so, including the bleeds. I will leave the first page blank now because that's going to be the cover. So check and make sure the box is perfectly up into the edges of the page. And then this is going to be the right page of the first double page spread on my photography booklet. Then take the white arrow tool and click the box and then go up to file on place. Locate the image and then click OK. You can then arrange the image to fit the box perfectly. I'm not going to spend heaps of time making my booklet look good today. I just want to show you guys the techniques and tips for making your very own booklet. You can change the screen mode here to see how the booklet will look after it's printed and the bleeds are actually cut away. And you can also use the bleed mode here to see the bleeds of your document too. Remember that the thin slice around the document that is actually the bleed is going to be cut away after printing, so do not put any crucial content in this small area. If you want to add or remove pages, you have various different options under the layout tab. You can manually add multiple pages, as well as remove multiple pages or you can add a single page automatically. Now I'm going to show you how to save time and add a specific part of your design across the entire booklet. 
And for this, you want to have the Pages window open, which you can click on the right here, or you can go up to Window and then Pages. At the top, you're going to see the Master Pages. And if you double click the Master Pages, you will then be taken to a double page spread. Basically, whatever you design and place on these two pages here is going to appear across the entire document. So for example, you can add page numbers. To do this, we take the type tool and we click and drag to make a type box. Then go up to type, insert special character, markers and then page numbers. You actually in fact have an A up here. If you press Command or Control T, you can bring open the typography window and then you can set the size and the style of the A. This A is automatically going to turn into every single page number on your document by InDesign, which you will see now. So go back to the Pages window and then select your document with a double click. And you're then going to notice that the page numbers are now on your document. However, we only added one side as you can see. So, go back to the master pages and then use the Alt Option key to duplicate the A over to the other side. Make sure that it is aligned and mirrored perfectly with the first one. Now head back to your document and you'll notice that you have page numbers across all pages. The one problem that you now have is that there's a page number on the front cover and this is not what you want. And you'll find that you cannot actually move and edit this number. So hover the cursor over it and then press Command, Shift and click on a Mac or Control, Shift and click on a PC and you're now going to be able to edit, move and delete this page number. I'm going to quickly lay out a cover page with the simple techniques in InDesign. You can choose the foreground colour here and then take the rectangle tool. You want to be able to see the bleeds so you can bring the background up to the bleed edge. So like in Adobe Illustrator, you can double click the colour palette and edit the colour of the shape. I will show you one way to import a high quality vector logo. We take the rectangle frame tool and draw in a square. You can move it around until it's centered. Then go up to file and place as we did before with the photography, locate your logo and then click OK. You can then resize and center your logo on the document so that it looks ideal. You can also lower the opacity of the logo as we can in Illustrator. Also it might help if you lock the background layer in place so it doesn't move around. Take the type tool and then create a text box. I feel that InDesign has the most scope of editing typography of any Adobe software out there. And at the very top you'll notice very different ways that you can edit your typography. Again I'm just showing you guys how to design a photography booklet layout in InDesign. I'm not going to spend hours doing this myself. But when you do finally get to the point where it's finished, you're going to need to export your document for print. So go up to File and Export and then choose Adobe PDF or Print. I choose a 2-up cover page layout which I feel is best for this kind of design. The compression should be fine by default. And in the Marks and Bleed section I tend to use most options but you must use the Document Bleed settings. Most often the rest of these settings are fine by default and any warnings are going to be posted in the summary section. 
Once you actually export it, you can then review your design in Acrobat. So there was today's video on designing a photography booklet in Adobe InDesign. I offered you guys some tips for your workflow in this program, so let me know what you thought of the video in the comment section below. And of course, if you did enjoy the content, give it a thumbs up and maybe even share it on social media. I'm super happy about the growth of my channel right now and getting all these views, likes and subscribers is telling me that you guys are digging my content and you're actually finding my videos useful in your graphic design workflow. But I'm always looking to improve, so don't be shy to let me know what you guys want to see on this channel here at Satori Graphics. But anyway, until next time, design your future today. Peace.